That doesn't seem like her to get all tangled up with one of them. You did the neat thing. Nice trick, huh? That's a lot of walkers. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. Oh, I thought she was going to say the living. How do we get in? What can I if do, we can make Sarah? enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? We are gonna sure, die in here. I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. Let's make some noise. Right. What's going to grab their attention? I got you covered. What am I looking for? See if you can find something to distract them. Sarah, yeah, it does look pretty strong. No, 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 no. Come on. Hmm. No, oh, it's open. Damn it, don't do this. Really? That's that wasn't good, enough? But we need to keep it going somehow. Just gotta find a brick or something. Come on, what kind of redneck doesn't carry around a brick? In his pickup bed. Be our dear friend or something. What are you thinking? We're gonna get up and go. If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me I've a heard hand. her voice actor somewhere too. I don't know. Or we could just go put the guy back on the horn again. It's locked. Then try something else. Hey, are you guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Hurry! Wow, she's pretty strong. Through the door. 
thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. We gotta get moving. I'll second that. Well, I would have left already, but I, I got Sarah here, and... I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? You gotta help. I think just being irrational. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clam. See, it's just like I told you, that they're okay. Sarah, come on. We we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... Uh, I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know, it's just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then... While well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for I'm just glad y'all are here. Maybe it used to be her home Not or something. Out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clem? Sarah, it's me. Hi. No! <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, gotta put her out of her misery. I know how you feel right now. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. Ever since the walkers, so many people I know have died. People I love. And for stupid reasons. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. We can't be kids anymore, Sarah. You need to grow up, or you'll die. There aren't any other choices. Get to the skylight! Now! Come on, I'll boost you! What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here and help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find. Milk Harton. Can we use this? It's not big enough. You're not big enough. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh, shit. Okay. Ready? On three. One, two, three! Matters how hard to push it. Okay, go, go. Keep pushing. Go. It's through. Oh, there's a door. Luke, you first. We need you up top. Why? Uh, 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 okay, come on! Clem! Sarah, we have to go! Are you listening? Now, Clementine! If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her! Don't let her take you down, too. Not again. I agree. Hey, I tried. We didn't have a choice. Okay, there was nothing we could do. There's, there's nothing we could do. Come on.
about Sarah. I, uh, I didn't think you'd leave her. It's hard to think about. You left her too. I know. I know. It may be hard to hear, but you weren't going to be able to save her. She was never going to make it in this world. Yeah, I guess... I guess there was just nothing we could do. I tried so hard to get through to her. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. It's okay, I get it. Things aren't always simple. Trust me, I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. And when you really look at it, maybe it's better this way. For everyone. We were there for hours. You know, I should have gotten through to her. I should have done something. And all I did was leave her behind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof, and, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? How could you leave your sister? I don't, I don't know. killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety, or ours. Sarah wasn't dangerous to anybody. Come on, let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Wait, where's Sarah? Didn't make it. And Nick? Didn't make it. <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. No. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. <sighs>
need your help with Rebecca's baby. No one else knows what to do. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katja. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. Well, he didn't, and you're still alive, whether you like it or not. Oh, you're right. I guess I should be celebrating, huh? I'd throw a party, except my guest list is looking a little thin these days. There are people out there who are scared, who don't know what to do. You could be helping them, but instead you're just sitting in a dark tent, feeling sorry for yourself. Sorry for myself? The hell do you know, Clementine? I need you. Hmm. I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But, uh, thanks for saying that. Now, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Well? Oh, shit. Does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her, too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? What kind of stuff do babies need when they're being born? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny, you, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Clem... I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking... How do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I don't know if Jane will come back. I think she's scared about the baby. That's what I was afraid of. That's why it might be a good idea to have you go with her. Just something to think about. Well, she certainly okay. knows what she's doing. Warm blankets, clean water, disinfecting. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful.
But you can walk slightly faster when you hold down the shift key. Oh, hey. I knew you'd be here. Well, yeah. I told you I was coming here. Anyways. Well, it's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's go. I hope this place is what we're looking for. God knows we could use a break. Check this out. A skate's still locked, which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. Who knows what could be in there? If it's locked, maybe there's still food. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. A nail file? Versatility is not overrated. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand at this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. The cannon. That'll do it. You think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. I guess it's broken. That's the saddest news I've heard all day. Find anything? No, not even trash. I don't know if the poster is going to help, but it was the only thing I could look at. Well, that was entirely unhelpful. Goodbye. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. What the hell? In mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. I thought he was like... And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. Maybe I can try talking to him. Good call. Really? I wouldn't Shit. expect in a million right years she would say that's a good call.
Hey. I'm just a kid. Please, don't hurt me. Who are you? I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. Little girl. You yeah. don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <sighs> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. Just... Anything? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry, and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No. I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you you take my sister's medicine? You are Vuri. Hey, we've got people who are suffering. Who need this medicine? Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need people that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must believe We don't believe, believe a me. fucking word about your sick Please sister. Don't make my I sister can't, suffer. I can't steal from my enough. Russian friend. Oh, I yeah? just can't. Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means? You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Bursa. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. You don't have to do this. Just let me go. Is it safe to let him go? Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Threatening some stupid kid? I thought you were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? Go get the others. I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Isn't he supposed to be watching the baby? Well, the soon-to-be baby? <laughs> 